What's the Vanguard doing to destroy the balance? They are not doing anything to destroy the balance, but they destroy people's faith in the balance. They speak to the people, telling them how the Sentinel, the Fathers, are holding our world back. And that if we were to use the balance to our advantage, we could return to the old ways, the ways of the ancient Earth, before the Divide. Vanguard promised the people power and wealth and happiness, but they intend only destruction and death. Thank you. I am at your service any time, child. I am afraid I must go take care of my guests now. Enjoy yourself. Someone new enters the scene. Um, but before we talk to him, let's take a look around here. Assorted bottles, herbs, and spices. Oh, I was hoping she'd just say shelves. Ooh, comfy chair. That looks like a really, really comfortable chair. It's their first date, I can tell. They're a cute couple. I wonder if romance is different here, or if the rituals are the same as back home. I mean, magic must play some part in it. Now there's an intriguing thought. What a strange creature. Uh, this guy has a very interesting outlook on the world, as you will soon see. Thank you, April Ryan. What? There is no time here, but there soon will be time for you and I. Time enough, to be sure. You are speaking to me, April Ryan. We have spoken. I don't understand what you're... And how do you know my name? Who are you? Have we not met yet? I was sorry, then, for confusing you. I will be Abnaxus of the Venar, ambassador to the Irene Council in Mercuria for a time. I think I would have remembered you if we'd met. Who told you my name? You did. You are saying your name to me, April Ryan. In this moment, you tell me your name. You question why I know your name, and you speak to me the blessings of the balance for my long journey home. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. It is difficult for us, too, April Ryan, to understand you. We, the Venar, are not perceiving time like your people. In this moment, we are everywhere. In this moment, we are nowhere. But there is a veil. Beyond this veil, we are not seeing, but you have. You will be seeing. You are seeing. What veil? The veil created in chaos, by chaos, with chaos. It is a dark presence in our Future, yes, future. A dark veil which hides the things that have been and will be. What's all this got to do with me? It was late. You were tired. We have talked in the morning when you come to visit me. Now you understand everything. Thank you, April Ryan. <laughs> the blessings of the balance to you, too. Did you just invite me to your home? I will. I did. I invite you to my home, April Ryan. My home was in the Mercuria City Green, and you will find it in the morning before chaos came. I am explaining everything, and you understood. It seems I've already accepted your invitation, so I guess I don't have a choice. That is what you said. Good night. You will sleep well.
Must be very confusing when everything is happening to you at the same time, so to speak. Uh, wreaks havoc with your grammar as well. Uh, let's I really see. I am getting tired. I should find somewhere comfortable to sit down. Rest my legs for a few minutes. That's our cue, I think. morning. We need to clean before we open for breakfast, so I had to wake you. I slept right through the party? It seems so. You did not stir even when everyone was leaving. Oh, well, I feel pretty good considering. You look a little pale, but it's nothing a good porridge won't fix. So in the last cutscene there, it looks like Cortez is either being experimented on or tortured. So kind of an ominous counterpoint to the party here. Um, but we're running short on time, so this video will end here. And in the next video, we will uh, speak more with the innkeeper.